This is one of Decom Bomb supporters, Rich404, here to say to enjoy this video, and make sure to visit and to subscribe to his channel for more. Get ready folks for another awesome review from Decom Prime. Let's do this. Alright guys, I'm very happy bringing you the fourth and final part of the video, which is the completion and reassembly of the crosscut zombie strike. And let's go over the pieces first before I put it together. Over right here is gonna be the to me the main part of the gun. You can tell I did a lot of work on what too. Uh, basically a lot of work I did off camera was just basically dry brushing and of course painting the uh, wiring that they are pretty much. So I painted those wires red and blue. Uh, the rest I did on camera, of course, was the uh, outer wrench and chain, but what I did off camera was just basically dry brushing, which is basically... 90% of this was all dry brushing, pretty much. And you can tell I, did, I used wrought iron for dry brushing as well, too. It looks really nice as well. Nice. And dry brushing right here as well, too, pretty much. So, basically, the off camera was just basically dry brushing. On camera, I did the, uh, like I said, the chain, the outer wrench as well, too, or crescent wrench, I should call it. I did put the handle back in place of what too. That's right in place pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty good. I, I went over the matte finish for a top coat and I think it looks great. I really do. The I am basically the uh, uh, rod iron did a great job for the uh, dry brushing method. You can tell. So it's nice as well. So I did that part and the other side was pretty plain as you can tell. Uh, I dry brush is what two, there's a dry brushing here, the side is what two, and the other wire is what two, but that's pretty much that's all. Most of this side here, and most detail on this side, it was based for the handle, as you can tell. So, looks nice. Anyway, that's the uh, gun part, as you can tell. Very cool. So, I did that. Uh, next, of course, is the piece right here. This goes overlapping the saw blade, because right here, pretty much. And there's some detail here, not a lot, but again, I get a lot of dry brushing. Here's what two, uh, and here, and here's what two. Of course, the uh, corners as well, too, a lot of dry brushing. I would say probably 90% of this will all dry brushing. I'll, I'll basically, if I had to guess, by percentage wise, most was pretty much. Inside here is all covered up anyway, so it doesn't matter pretty much. Did that, and of course, I did the uh, muzzle part. Again, some black, uh, copper, and I did a little blue here for the wires. Like, I think they're I think they're wires, I think they are pretty much. They look pretty cool though. Let's do that. Uh, next is the uh, trigger handle, or actually the primer handle. Again, I did that in copper. That's what too. And finally, of course, well not finally, but I did two triggers, what too. Uh, secondary trigger and the main trigger is what too. Okay, get nice and dope. And finally, of course, we saw on camera so far is the blade with some blood on it too. That's pretty cool. I did both sides of what too. Very cool. Anyways, finally get the part uh, of reassembling this guy. And that's gonna be, uh, not too hard, I don't think it'll be. So that's a, uh, I got my uh, help set as well too. Put this guy aside for now. And this, this lasts probably. Okay, um, let's see here. I think this went correctly. Screws on this side, not this side, so I took part like this pretty much as well. Okay, uh, a little more. Now I did record as well on my phone here, so I'm gonna go over on my phone what I did. This is the gears first. Get the chainsaw part out of the picture first. Okay, now not a lot of parts in this gun, which I haven't noticed that, which is a good thing. I do know these right here go here, which I do know. Obviously. Okay. Uh, okay, this one here should go on the very bottom of two. Okay. Now, it could be, I think I'm wrong, but I think I'm right, though. Okay. All right, next, this right here should go like this. And T should have that place. Okay. Next. Uh, okay. Okay. That's good. If we go like this, we should go. Let me make sure these things go in the right direction, though. 
Let me move my video for a second. Okay, I'm recording myself right here, I can tell. <laughs> video of video, pretty much. Let's call it Inception. Okay, I think that's okay. Has to be the opposite direction. Okay. I think that's right. I'm looking down here, okay. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> Maybe I should go upwards to the chainsaw blade, like so. Okay. Yeah, it's right, I believe. Make sure. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that's right. At least right here, it looks like Accurate what too. It looks almost the same. We'll find out what it actually works. <laughs> Anyways, uh I'll get my spring here and my secondary. This right here should go if I'm accurate about this. Yeah, okay. Okay. Alright, that. Go and I'm not care about this too. This should go, I can go like that. Now, this is stretch. Uh, what I might do is put it, this in glass. Like so. This part of the game, this part right here is uh, kind of the hardest part there is. There we go. Okay, there we go. And also down, further down. There we go. Okay, I uh, think that's accurate. What I see on here, it should turn nicely. All right, I hope that's accurate. <laughs> really do. It looks like, it looks like it's a good thing, personally. Uh, Plunger should be pretty easy one, too. And with that, I might need the muzzle next. So it should go in like so, in so one direction. Now, I did not do it in the interior because I'm not sure that would interfere with the Nerf uh, arrows. I'm not sure the paint would interfere with that, so I kept it uh, unpainted. So that I was not really sure about. Okay. Uh, okay, if I'm accurate about this, too. The print spring should go bottom. Uh, okay. Alright, if I'm accurate about this, that should go like so. The angle should be on the side. Yeah, okay. Okay, now of course this right here, I have to undo this, obviously. Yeah, it was clumsy, wasn't it? Okay. Okay, now we're back on track here. I forgot that. The great thing you need with a spring is that. So yeah, it took like, what, four steps? This is kind of long, but wow, I thought it was three, but this thing is just so much detail in this thing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. But you know what, it's a great gun anyways, I don't really care. All right, plunger's done. Pop in there. <clears throat> okay. All right. Premier handle should just pop in place. This might require a little bit of pressure. There we go. Okay. It looks okay so far. This core should come out like this and lock in place. So make sure it does. Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's it. It's uh, secure. Or insecure, <laughs> whatever. Okay, uh, looks good to me. Put the handle in place. All right, guys, and of course, moment of truth is put it together. Of course, the uh, saw blade uh, would be last. That goes in the out part, of course, here. Uh, I've got one more thing. Huh. Got a spring. Spring. <laughs> God, I've got a spring goes too. Well, first of all, I didn't know where this thing goes. Uh, a trigger thing in here. Okay, I got a spring here. I forgot where it went to. Uh, oops, back here first. Oh, 
Okay, come on. Okay, the spring. Uh, huh. Oh, huh, duh. Okay, other trigger. <laughs> so, oh my god, that's sad. I forgot the trigger. Okay, where does the spring go to? Okay, that's where it goes to. Okay, that's so dummy, wasn't it? I forgot from the spring. Oh my god, okay. Okay. This goes kind of tight in there. There we go. Okay. Now we're set here. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's sad, wasn't it? I forgot a spring. Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess we're all done here. Uh, no parts. Now I'm going to do extra right now. I got some of these uh, magnets as well, too. I want to add some weight to this handle. Now you can tell it's completely hollowed out, pretty much. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get some handle. I'm going to get some... Uh, Names in there to give them a little weight course. You know, you don't want to, but I kind of I want to. I want to have some weight to this gun. I want to, you know, basically real as possible. So I'm adding some weight. This is a good thing to use. I mean, a lot of people use like pennies, all that, but I say pennies actually. I don't spend on pennies at all. I save them pretty much. So that's what I do. Uh, you don't have to, you don't want to, but that's a pretty cool thing to do. But, uh,. Ah. That's what I use pretty much. I think that's cool. So I just put like two in there. But yeah, you don't have you don't want to. I just kind of add a little you know heaviness, kind of like the space is real, that type of thing. I want to do that. I think that's cool. I'll do that. You can buy these at Hobby Lobby or any kind of craft store has little magnets. These are the ones you stick on with. Will on the little too. They're pretty solid what too. Uh bought it pretty much. Anyways. Let's get, get to the point last part now. Everything's so secure. All in place. That's done. Uh gears are in place. Hope that's accurate. Alright. Uh moment of truth, I guess. Decide for now. There are two pins, I gotta make sure they're the right angle. There we go. Okay, okay, that goes in pretty solid. Perfect. Alright, now all the screws are the same height, of course, so I might just fast forward past this part for you guys. Let's go a little war speed here, shall we? Alright, guys, that's a lot of screws. Whoa! Anyways, this is the final product, the Crosscut Zombie Strike Weapon, and I say this is friggin' awesome. Uh, let me try to get a little further away shot for you guys, you can see a lot more of it if possible. There we go. There we go. Here guys, the Zombie Strike. Again, awesome with what too. And you know what, that's, the dry version is friggin' awesome with raw iron too as well. Uh, crest wrench, chain, and this amazing little too. And of course it does work. It does make sound, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I can tell the blade is not uh, perfectly straight, so it wobbles like this pretty much. I'm not sure why, but I don't care, I don't care honestly. But that is cross cut. And does it work? I wonder. Let's see, shall we? I got some of my drift guns here. Let's see how this thing works out, I wonder. Hope, hopefully it does work. Give it a shot, shall we? Front handle. Now, of course, it does. I did kind of errors what too. It does show up, of course, uh, in the priming process. But when you know, go back normal again, you'll see it. Anyways, fire one shot. And of course, it does that once a while. Got two shot. Yeah. I think about these type of triggers. Uh, second shot is kind of slow once in a while. Bingo! So it works perfectly. It really does. Ah, there it goes. Ah, try it one more time, shall we? All the way in. All the way in. Boom. Boom. Awesome, guys. Works great, and I love this thing so much. It's freaking awesome.
Like I said, if you want the same thing too, let me know. I'll buy another one for you guys. Do the same thing I did with well, two and I'll send it to you for a good price, okay? Again, the zombie strike. When zombies rule the world, it's going to need pretty much.